Hey guys, okay, so we're back and we are going to talk a little bit more about how the Corvin works, okay? So I've got a wine here that I'm going to try a little glass of. And something that's important to know is that the Corvin will work only if it is a real cork, okay? It won't work if it is a synthetic cork because the synthetic corks will not reseal. So you're going to need to make sure it's a real cork. So our first thing we do is we come in here, we open the foil, and we check. And yes, this wine does have a, a real cork. So, so we see that it does have a real cork. So now let's try to open it with the Coravin. But first, we need to charge our Coravin, right? We need to put the argon gas inside. That is the gas that is going to take up the space of the wine and make sure that our wine ages, doesn't age and stays properly. So I'm going to just take a seat here and show you guys, here we go, show you guys a little bit how we charge the Coravin. Your, oops, <laughs> your uh, gas is going to go in the handle here. So you're going to screw that off, okay? You get your gas and you're going to put it into your handle, just drop it in there. And you're going to screw this handle back on, all right? There you go. You can hear a little, hear a little noise. And then make sure it's closed tight. So there we go. Now it's closed and we are ready to start pouring our wine. So what's the next thing we have to do? Well, we have to insert it into our cork. You're going to. Get that needle onto the cork, right? You're going to pull down, sorry, here there's a little trigger. You are going to line that needle up, oops. Line that needle up. You're going to slide that clamp down, okay? So now it's around the neck of your bottle and it should be good, okay? It should hold in there. Now, you're going to squeeze the needle down in. Okay. It'll have a little resistance for going through the cork. Now we can start pouring. We have our glass over here. And when you're pouring, you need to make sure that your bottle is entirely, you're holding your bottle, you're not holding by the Corvin. You're going to hold your two fingers here so that you can click the trigger. You're going to hold it entirely down and you're going to squeeze. And see that it pumps out that wine, right? As it's pumping out that wine, it is replacing the wine with argon. You can do another one if you want a little more. Sometimes a full glass, you might have to do a few pumps, that's okay. Every time that you are pumping, it is replacing the wine in the bottle with the argon gas. So when you're done, here we go, it's taking a second there, dripping out. You can put it back up and remove your Corbin by pulling up with two fingers. You want to remove it from the bottle as soon as possible. You don't want to let it sit in there. Why? Because if you do so, the needle will actually cause the hole to stay open. Whereas right now what's happening is a natural cork, it is resealing that hole on its own. So that is how we pour our Coravin. Now, occasionally, this glass doesn't have it, but occasionally your wine might have a teeny bit of cork in it. That is because obviously the needle goes straight through the cork, so when it squirts out, it might have just a few pieces of cork. Uh, if you are trying to have a sort of a prettier dinner or you're starting to make a presentation, I would recommend pouring a glass first uh, in your own glass maybe and putting it aside before you pour a glass for your, or squeeze out a glass for your guests. So that is how the Corvin works. And so now we can actually test out our bottle and see the cork is already sealed. There is no wine coming out. And so it is ready to go back into storage. You can store it again on its side as normal uh, for however many more years you would like this bottle to remain. I hope that teaches you a little bit about how the Coravin works and I hope that you get one for yourself and enjoy some great wine. Cheers.